to another edition of Leet Wine TV. I'm your host, Mark Fusco. And um, so, <clears throat> I've got another wine here from World Market. This is the 2005 Crandall Brooks Reserve Napa Valley Meritage Wine. Now, I bought this wine, well, really just because I can't remember the last time I had a Meritage, and I wanted to make a point about Meritage. First of all, Meritage is meritage, not meritage. Meritage is supposed to rhyme with heritage. It's supposed to be merit and heritage together. And what they do is this is a, an attempt to um, kind of pay homage, homage, I guess, um, to the French winemakers because this uh, wine particularly is a blend of Merlot, Cabernet Sauvignon, and Cabernet Franc. Um, so typical Bordeaux uh, grape varietals. Um, it's, I'm sorry, $7.48 from World Market. It was on the clearance rack. We're just going to go ahead and go right into this and I'll talk about some things a little bit later. So let's see how it smells. Now on the back label, I saw I saw the word cocoa dust, so I don't know if that's supposed to be the. Um, let's see what it says. Give me a spoiler. Dark fruit flavors, ripe tannins with hints of pepper, and cocoa dust on the long finish. Well, I get some cocoa on it, and it smells kind of cocoa dusty. I don't get much other fruits. Uh, definitely no pepper. But I guess if I really think about it, I might get something like a like a cherry and chocolate type of thing. So the bouquet seems interesting. So let's see how it tastes. I still get the chocolate out of it. Um, I get some spicy. I do get some heat though. I get some heat at the end, so that's a little concerning. But I get a little bit of the chocolate. Um, the tannins are coating the mouth. Um, I don't think it's bad at all. And the reason I'm saying this and the way I'm saying it is because I try to do more research on this wine. This is one of those wines you can't really can't find much on. Um, because this is a world market house brand. So there is no winery per se. Um, you know, I mean, it's, it's a, I'm sure, you know, there's a winery there called Crandall Brooks and they make the wine and it is in Napa Valley and all the, all the grapes are at least 85% of the grapes have to be sourced from Napa Valley. If you watched yesterday's sommelier school, I'm sorry. What's today? Thursday? Yeah, if you watched yesterday's Sommelier School, um, since this is Friday's wine, um, you would know that. But um, I had somebody say that it was called Borderline Undrinkable. And uh, I guess he bought it for $12.99. And um, yeah, he was a little bit disappointed. Um, right. And then somebody wrote a comment uh, last year, July of last year. Um, they generally loves Meritage 
wines, uh, especially from Napa Valley. And uh, he bought his for eight thirty eight, and it said regularly fourteen ninety nine. And he said uh, that it was horrible. He said the stuff is complete swill. I don't think it's complete swill at all. I think it's actually pretty pretty good. I mean, I like it. So I mean, again, here's another thing. Um, somebody's two other people's palates are different than mine. They hate the wine. Uh, I don't hate the wine. I think it's actually pretty good. I think it's pretty tasty. I think it's a wine you can drink on its own. You don't need food with it. I've had it open for about an hour. There's no complexity to it. So there's, I mean, it's it's got some heat. It's got a little bit of spice to it. Um, it's got the little hints of chocolate, maybe some of that, some of that um, cherry again, and you got the tannin feel. It, it's it's okay. I don't think it's complete swill. I'm gonna give it probably. I'm gonna give it like an 85. Like I'm gonna give it an 85. It's it's not bad for for 750. Now, if I had paid 15 bucks for this, I might feel a little differently about it. But for 750, it's not a bad wine. I mean, it's definitely an everyday, you know, during the week type of wine. This is not something you're going to be popping open for like some special event. Um, it's not bad at all. Uh, I thought somebody else gave it a pretty good review on some of the stuff I was trying to look up, but um, but I did see some uh, what seemed to be some positive reviews and just in the Google searches. Uh, for some of the other Crandall Brooks wines, uh, not the Meritages, but um, but some of the, the the other varietal wines. So I'd say 85. Not bad at all. I mean, it's not like spectacular, but I mean, you'll probably find it on the closeout rack, you know, on the closeout shelf uh, for about what I paid for it, and I'd say buy it. So um, yeah. A world market brand and they have some other ones they actually say world market on there and I hadn't bought those yet because I'm a little leery but um, maybe I'll try some of the other ones it's it's all right I mean I'd get it again it's a heritage I mean it's something different um, than your typical uh, California wines and um, that's gonna do it oh it was 85% have to come from the Napa Valley not 75% um, anyway um, let's see what else other than that, uh, keep friending me up. Keep uh, subscribing in iTunes. See some of my iTunes subscriptions have been going up a little bit. Um, if you're not watching this on the website, um, click the links. If there are, there are, won't be any links for this. Uh, there's no link to, to go to. But if I have a link to the winery, I always have it on there. If, if I can find a link to the winery, so you can click those links. Uh, donate, help support. You know, help me be able to buy a seven dollar fifty cent wine. Uh, the PayPal donations, and you know, maybe you want to be an executive producer. Nobody's taking me up on that. I only made Jordan the, the first executive producer just because he had contributed. He was only the role contributor. But um, I do have to spend money on these things. I don't, you know, I don't really get actually that much money at all from any of the ads. I still am waiting for any check from an ad uh, because there's very low clicks. But um, you know, tell your friends. More and more people come to the website. That means hopefully revenue, at least to pay for the wine. That's what I'm looking for. Uh, other than that, uh, I hope you all have a great weekend. Hope you uh, learned a lot from the uh, Sommelier School if you haven't watched it already. And uh, we'll see everybody again on Monday.